Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best phones. Starting at number 5. Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. Are you on a budget but want great value? Then you can't go wrong with Samsung's A-series phones, which are excellent for the price. The Galaxy A14 5G is one of the latest entries in the family, and it's well worth your attention. With the Galaxy A14 5G, you get a large, 6.6-inch LCD display that has a 1080p resolution with a 90Hz adaptive refresh rate. Though you do get some bezels around the display, the screen itself looks nice, has vibrant colors, and you get relatively smooth scrolling with the 90Hz refresh rate. The design of the phone itself is simple and minimalistic, and the plastic back has a unique texture that helps give you more grip than the glass on most phones. The A14 5G has 4GB of RAM and a MediaTek MT6833 Dimensity 700 chip. So while it's not packing the newest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, it has decent performance for the price. You may notice a tiny bit of stutter when navigating the phone's interface or opening up apps, but considering that the phone is just $200, it's expected. It only comes with 64GB of storage, but that can expand to 1TB through a microSD card. Samsung ships the A14 5G with Android 13 and One UI 5, and you will get two major Android upgrades and four years of security updates. For $200, you're getting a good amount of longevity, especially considering that this phone is 5G capable. The camera is also quite impressive, as you get a 50MP main shooter, with a 2MP macro and 2MP depth sensors. Thanks to the MediaTek chip, taking photos is fast and the results are quite good for a $200 phone. When the phone was used to capture some in-motion shots of a child, the results came out quite well. Colors are also bright and punchy, like most of Samsung's other higher-end phones. And lastly, though the Galaxy A14 5G doesn't have wireless charging, it does have a massive 5000 mAh battery that will last at least two days with regular use. But wired charging caps out at 15W, so it's a little slow. However, considering how much use you'll get from a single charge, you may not be having to plug it in every night. Coming at number 4. Google Pixel 8 Pro. The Google Pixel 8 Pro is a smartphone that has set a new standard for the Pixel line. With its stunning design, improved camera system, and Google's latest Tensor chip, it's no wonder that it's being hailed as the best Pixel yet. While the Pixel 8 Pro bears a striking resemblance to its predecessor, the Google Pixel 7 Pro, it's the subtle changes that make all the difference. The rear glass boasts an impressive, smooth matte finish that feels great in your hand, while the rounded corners make it even more comfortable to hold. The dual camera cutouts found on the previous model have been replaced with a single cutout that spans the length of the camera bar, adding to the phone's sleek aesthetic. The display on the Pixel 8 Pro has also seen some major improvements. With a 120Hz refresh rate that can scale down to 1Hz as needed, it's more energy efficient than ever. The display is also much brighter, rising to 1600 nits for HDR content and 2400 for peak brightness, making it perfect for enjoying your favorite movies and shows. Now, let's talk about the cameras. The primary camera on the Pixel 8 Pro is a work of art, with a resolution of 50 megapixels and an aperture of f 1.68 that makes it incredibly light sensitive. It also has a 2x optical zoom, giving you even more control over your shots. The new ultra-wide camera has a resolution of 48 MP and an f 1.95 aperture, significantly improving its light sensitivity and macro mode. The telephoto camera has a resolution of 48 MP, an f 2.8 aperture, and a 5x optical zoom, making it perfect for capturing even the most distant subjects. The front-facing camera has an f 2.2 aperture and autofocus support, ensuring that your selfies always look their best. The Pixel 8 Pro also comes packed with some exciting new camera software tools. Best Take is one of the most prominent features. It automatically stitches together multiple photographs so everyone in the shot looks their best. Magic Editor is another great feature, 
allowing you to erase and move objects from existing photos, even those not taken with the Pixel 8 Pro. The Pixel 8 Pro's new Tensor G3 chip is a game-changer, with the ability to handle various tasks such as gaming, live video streaming over a 5G connection, and capturing photos without overheating like its predecessors. In short, the Google Pixel 8 Pro is a remarkable Android phone that's worth considering for anyone looking for a beautiful design, exceptional camera system, and lightning-fast processor. It's a true workhorse that can keep up with even the most demanding users, whether you're a professional photographer or simply someone who wants a reliable and powerful smartphone. At Number 3 OnePlus 12 While OnePlus never really went away, it had been pushed into the shadows by strong offerings from Samsung and Google. Well, that period has ended, as OnePlus is back, and the OnePlus 12 is one of the best smartphones you can buy, period. It's not fair to describe most current phones as featureless slabs, but next to the OnePlus 12, they might as well be. This phone is distinct, with a beautiful green design, gently sloping sides, and one of the more unique-looking camera systems we've ever seen on a smartphone. There's a strong family resemblance with the OnePlus Pad, and it looks great. It feels good, too, but be advised it's a slippery phone, a case is highly advised. That premium feeling extends to the display. The OnePlus 12 has a 6.8-inch LTPO AMOLED display, running a 1440p resolution, for a crisp 510 pixels per inch, with a 120Hz refresh rate. If that isn't enough, it also gets bright enough to be visible on the surface of the sun, thanks to a peak brightness of 4,500 nits. Frankly, that's a little ridiculous and enormously overkill, as most other flagships sit around the 2,000 nits mark, and those are fine. But overkill was clearly what OnePlus had in mind, as the phone's other specs are way, way beyond what they need to be. We'll start with the most reasonable part of the spec sheet, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Qualcomm's latest processor is incredibly fast, and it won't shy away from any app or game you care to run on your big screen. It's a stupendously powerful piece of kit, so when we say it's the most understated part, you know OnePlus isn't messing around. First comes the storage options, which start at 256GB and go up to 512G. RAM is where things get really bonkers, with the base model getting 12GB. That's the same amount as the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, and it only gets higher from there. Upgrade the storage, and you get a boost in RAM, too, up to 16 gigabytes. The camera system is a little toned down, at least compared to the RAM specs, but not by too much. The rear camera system comprises a 50MP main lens, a 64MP periscope telephoto with a 3x optical zoom, and a 48MP ultra-wide lens, and there's a 32MP selfie camera around the front. It's a solid suite, and it takes good photos with realistic colors. Portrait shots can be a little lacking, and it sometimes struggles with moving subjects in low-light photos, but these are relatively small negative points. The OnePlus 12 runs Android 14, under the Oxygen OS 14 skin, and it's a great piece of software, clear and uncluttered. OnePlus has promised 5 years of updates, which is a good, if not stellar, promise. Finally, we'll touch on the battery life. It is, in a word, excellent. You can expect 2 days of battery life from the 5400mAh battery with moderate use, and since the recharging is super fast, it won't spend long on the charger either. Wired charging goes up to 80W, while the 50W wireless charging is faster than most flagship phones wired charging. There's even reverse wireless charging up to 10W. The OnePlus 12 is a certified premium flagship killer, albeit at a flagship price. It starts from $800, putting it on a level basis with the Samsung Galaxy S24 while offering specs on a level with the S24 Ultra. It's an incredible piece of tech and absolutely our pick for the best Android phone you can buy today. Number 2 of my list Apple iPhone 15 For those who don't require all the advanced features of the more expensive iPhone 15 Pro series, the all-new iPhone 15 is a great option. This flagship device by Apple comes in five colors, pink, yellow, green, blue, and black. 
It has a 6.1-inch Super Retina XDR display like its predecessor, as well as several new features that make it worth considering, starting with the Dynamic Island. The Dynamic Island, first introduced on the iPhone 14 Pro series, is a fun new way to view notifications, live activities, and more. If the Dynamic Island isn't enough to persuade you to consider the iPhone 15, take a look at its new camera system. The iPhone 15 has significantly upgraded its camera game this time with a 48MP primary camera and a 12MP ultra-wide lens with a wide 120-degree field of view FOV, that can capture your memories in breathtaking detail. However, the ultra-wide lens has remained unchanged from the previous generation and still lacks an autofocus feature. The selfie camera still delivers stunning results, but it is also unchanged at 12MP. Unlike the iPhone 14 Pro models that only allowed shooting in 48MP full resolution with Pro RAW and defaulted to 12MP for regular photos, the iPhone 15 now defaults to 24MP photos. You can switch it back to 12MP to save storage space, but the 24MP photos are worth the extra space as they look remarkable overall and the minor size difference is negligible. The new camera features will help you capture every moment in stunning detail and relive them for years to come. USB-C has replaced lightning in the iPhone 15, bringing quicker transfer speeds between devices, but no charging speed improvements. Connecting the iPhone 15 with at least a 20W adapter gets you about 50% charge in 30 minutes, which is the same as before. The iPhone 15 still only supports a 60Hz refresh rate, which is unfortunate for a smartphone in 2023. This limitation negatively affects gaming and web browsing experiences for users with quick fingers. It should also be noted that the iPhone 15 comes with the older A16 Pro chip. This isn't bad, but you aren't getting the latest and great chip Apple has to offer on a smartphone. And number 1. Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max. Until recently, the regular iPhone models and the Pro variations were not significantly different. However, the new iPhone 15 Pro series, particularly the 6.7-inch iPhone 15 Pro Max, has fantastic features that can only be found on these most expensive models. The new titanium body is just the beginning, and the camera features vary even between the Pro and Pro Max models. Our favorite iOS phone, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, is available in natural titanium, blue titanium, white titanium, and black titanium. Each offers a matte glass back and smaller bezels around what continues to be an always-on Super Retina XDR display with a 120Hz refresh rate. The iPhone 15 Pro series has undergone significant hardware changes compared to previous models, including a switch from stainless steel to titanium and GUI additions of a USB-C port, an action button, an S17 Pro chip, and improved cameras. With the new USB-C port, you no longer need to use lightning cables, making it more convenient if you have a recent iPad or any other electronic device that uses USB-C. This switch also means quicker file transfer speeds, although it doesn't necessarily result in improvements on the charging side. Apple promises the same 50% charge in 35 minutes using a 20W adapter. At first glance, it may seem like nothing has changed with the iPhone 15 Pro Max's camera system. The device still has a 48-megapixel MP main camera, a 12MP ultra-wide camera, and a 12MP telephoto camera featuring apertures of f 1.78, f 2.2, and f 2.8, respectively, which is identical to the specs of its predecessor, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. However, some notable differences have a significant impact on the user experience. For starters, the main camera of the iPhone 15 Pro Max now takes 24MP shots by default instead of 12MP, resulting in more detailed images. Additionally, Apple's latest Smart HDR5 image processing technology enhances the colors of the photos. Finally, the telephoto camera of the iPhone 15 Pro Max now supports up to 5x optical zoom which is an improvement over the previous maximum of 3x. It's big and expensive, but if you want the very best smartphone running Apple's iOS operating system, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the one to get. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video.
please subscribe and stay tuned.